You're walking outside, enjoying a nice peaceful day, when suddenly, crack, a blinding flash lights up the sky, followed by the kind of thunder that makes you rethink every decision you've ever made. That's lightning. It's epic, it's terrifying, and it's basically the Earth flexing its electric muscles. But what actually causes lightning? Is it just angry clouds fighting each other? Is Thor out there chucking thunderbolts? Or is it science doing its usual hold my beer moment? Let's break it down. First, you need to understand this. Clouds are not just fluffy sky cotton. They're massive, roiling machines filled with water droplets, ice crystals, and friction. When air masses rise and fall inside a storm cloud, they rub against each other, causing electrons to move around. That's right, static electricity. You know that little zap you get when touching a doorknob? Now imagine that, but a billion times more dramatic. The top of the cloud ends up positively charged, and the bottom becomes negatively charged. This separation builds up tension, and nature hates tension. So what happens? Nature hits the discharge, but boom. Lightning. Lightning is basically Earth's way of evening the score. There's a charge imbalance, and the universe is like, nope, can't have that. So it sends a bolt of electricity to restore balance between the cloud and the ground, or even between clouds. Most lightning actually happens within the cloud itself, but the stuff that hits the ground? That's the one we all run from. Lightning can travel up to 200,000 miles per hour, reach temperatures of 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, yes, hotter than the surface of the sun, and carry a charge of up to 1 billion volts. So yeah, maybe don't stand under that tree. Why does lightning flash before thunder? Ever notice how you see lightning first, then hear the thunder a few seconds later? That's because light travels faster than sound. Lightning equals immediate, thunder equals fashionably late. Want to estimate how far away the storm is? Count the seconds between the flash and the boom. Divide by five. That's how many miles away it is. So if you get to five Mississippi, the storm's about a mile away. And yes, Mississippi is the scientifically approved unit of time for children and panicked adults. Not all lightning is created equal. Here's the lightning lineup. Cloud to ground. The classic, terrifying bolt that hits trees, buildings, or your neighbor's mailbox. Cloud to cloud, lightning playing ping pong in the sky. Intra cloud happens entirely inside one cloud. Basically, cloud drama, ball lightning, rare, mysterious glowing orbs. Science still hasn't figured these out. Mm. Ghosts, mm. aliens, just science being weird. <laughs> and yes, lightning can strike the same place twice. It's actually more likely if that place is tall, metal, or says, do Yay. not touch. What happens if you get struck? Let's get one thing straight. It's rare, but not impossible. Roughly one in one point 2 million people get struck by lightning each year in the U.S., and most survive. Some end up with cool scar patterns called Lichtenberg figures. Others lose their shoes, seriously. And then there's Roy Sullivan, a park ranger who got struck seven times and lived to tell every single tale. So no, you're not a superhero if you survive a lightning strike, but you're definitely winning story time. Lightning safety tips, don't be a human rod. Don't stand under trees. That's literally how people get hit. Avoid open fields. You plus nothing equals easy target. Stay away from metal objects, golf clubs, fences, selfie sticks. If you're indoors, avoid plumbing. Yes, lightning can travel through pipes. No showers during storms. The safest place? A car. Not because of the rubber tires, but because the metal shell redirects the charge around you. Science is wild. Can we harness lightning? In theory, lightning carries enough energy to power a small town. In practice, it's too unpredictable, fast, and scattered to capture effectively. It's like trying to charge your iPhone with a bomb. Still, scientists are experimenting with lasers and lightning rods to trigger controlled strikes. Because of course, they are. Humans love poking nature with sticks, lightning around the world. Some places are practically lightning magnets. Lake Maracaibo, Venezuela, holds the world record for lightning frequency, over 200 nights a year of constant flashing. Florida, the lightning capital of the U.S. Don't say we didn't warn you. Democratic Republic of Congo, the highest lightning strike rate on Earth. So if you love dramatic skies and loud noises, you know where to vacation. Just pack rubber boots and nerves of steel. Lightning is nature's electric tantrum. It's fast, furious, and and full of drama. From sparking wildfires to scaring pets and humans alike, it reminds us that the sky has a serious attitude problem. But it's also beautiful, awe-inspiring, and a reminder that there's still a lot we don't fully understand about the planet we live on. Drop your thoughts in the comments. We reply to every single one. The most liked comment might just become our next video. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more shocking science. See you in the next episode.